Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Datacolor Spider X Pro to calibrate your monitor. Having a calibrated monitor is an important part of having a color managed process from screen through to print. You need to ensure that your monitor displays colors as accurately as possible so that when comparing against a print which has had a custom profile, you're having a close as match as possible between what you see on screen and what you have on your final print. Once you've purchased your Datacolor Spider X Pro, you will need to go to their website to download the latest software for your version of Mac or PC. Once you've done this, you then just start running the software. Prior to starting the software, you'll need to make sure that your device has had time to warm up, so at least maybe 30 minutes, that the lighting conditions are suitable for um, assessing the screen, not too bright, not too dark, and that you know where you'll have controls for brightness Click next. This is a wide LED screen, so it's just simply click next. And we're going to do a full calibration. Just have a look on the change settings. We're in brightness. We are going to adjust here. So we've got gamma 2.2, which is recommended. Um, that's to do with, I believe, shadow and highlight details. The white point is 6,500 Kelvin. That's the color temperature of the screen to um, kind of mirror or match as close as possible the uh, color temperature of paper. Brightness, we're going to adjust um, accordingly to what we feel is most appropriate. Click next. I'm going to place the device on screen. Uh, click next. Now, as you can see on here, we've got a target of 120 candela, but we're currently at 47.3. So the screen is too dark. So I'm just going to go into system preferences on this particular device, go to displays, and I'm just going to slightly adjust the color and then click update. And then we're now reading 75. So I'm just going to go back again. And update again. And I'm close enough at 116. So at this point, I'm just going to click continue. Now at this point, the software is displaying a whole range of different colors. The device reads what's being displayed on screen and if there is a variation between what it's expected to see and what it actually sees then there will be an adjustment made and that is part of the calibration process. Okay, right, going to remove the device from the screen now. Click finish. We have the reminder set for every six months. Uh, just as a rule of thumb, just going to put today's date in as a reminder as when it was last profiled. Click save. And click next. And at this point, we can click between the calibrated view and the previously uncalibrated view. So that's uncalibrated. As you can see, very warm. And now we're back to where we should be with neutral colors. You can see that there's been subtle changes into the monochrome areas, but a lot of the warmth has been taken out. It's a much more neutral result, which is what you need when you are comparing screen to um, a print because the paper types that we use or any manufacturer uses are not as warm as what you would see, for example, on this uncalibrated. So again, uncalibrated. And then if you switch to calibrated, you can see how the greens and the reds have all changed. That now completes the process for calibrating your monitor. If you want further information, you can contact our sales team on 01789739200 
or follow the link displayed below to the permajet.com website.